Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra. I am Debra, by the way. Um, happy mail. You saw the thumbnail. Got some happy mail and I am just thrilled to pieces. You know, it's always fun to get something in the mail that's not a bill. <laughs> And usually that has just some wonderful sentiment and stuff to it. I had many things in my hands and today I'm going to start with something that I already opened. I know, shame on me. I usually wait and I will show you the back and it has some sweet stickers on there that say thank you. This is from uh, Miss Gina Pike, Knitting Turnpike. And this is such a cool flipping card, y'all. Okay, this beautiful sort of an aqua color and look at that look at the tree little snowflake cutouts all over the tree now just wait it doesn't stop there <gasps> look isn't that beautiful got the little cutouts and stuff down here too and this tree that pops up it is so pretty those are all like little snowflakes and stuff within the tree I mean really how awesome is that? And thank you, Gina. And I really hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas as well. But wow, I am fascinated with this card. When it, it came in and it was thick and I'm like, what in the world is in there? So I opened it right away because, you know, it's mail. You open it, right? And I had to call the hubby over. And I'm like, did you see this? This is so cool. Yeah. So, and I've been kind of looking at it, opening it and closing it, you know, over the last two days that I've had it. So. I can't help myself, you know. It's like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> but yes, thank you. I really do love it. That was the only one that I actually already opened. Um, oh, also to let you know, I do have the latest All Recipes magazine here. And um, I will be doing a flip through of that sometime very soon. And when I do that flip through, I will go ahead and draw for the giveaway for the subscription. That was on my last um, All Recipes flip through. If you don't know about that, go back and look forward to my videos. And uh, there's still a chance because I haven't recorded this yet. I'm going to set this over here. Uh, let's see. I do have two more what seem to be cards. This one has got the return address on the outside. And let's see if I can get in there without tearing up everything else. Come on. There we go. Just rip the envelope. Uh-huh. And this is from Crystal, the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. I will link her down below. I don't like everybody I talked about down below, of course. The front is We Three Kings. That is super cute. It says, let us rejoice on the day Christ was born. And thank you very much, Crystal. I do appreciate this. And I will pass along the uh, merriness to the rest of my little family as well. Thank you so much. I have got this one, which came by Royal Air Mail. So this is from the UK. No return address on the outside. Let's see if I can, I really like this little opener. Oh. Darling. It's from Miss Lisa Ladybird hiding her name like that. Mm-hmm. With best wishes for Christmas and the new year. Lisa and a uh, little beanie print down there at the bottom. But look at that. Isn't that so cute? That really is a super cute card. Thank you, Lisa. Love it. Put that there. And I do finally have one thing that uh, it's a little package. It's not a surprise. I ordered it, but it's kind of a surprise because I kind of forgot which ones I ordered because that's what I do. Uh, this is from Rose Likes Crochet in her Etsy store. If you don't know, Rose Likes Crochet does make stitch markers. And she does updates every now and again. I try to go in there and at least like her stuff. And sometimes I order because, 
you know, we always need more earrings or stitch markers. <laughs> or progress keepers is mostly what I use the fancy ones like this for. Of course, little organza bag. And a little handwritten note from Rose on the other side, plus her little business card here. I will have her linked below. And I'm going to pause because Oscar is invading my camera. And now we're unpaused because you see, uh, Mr. Oscar had to be on camera, didn't you? Yes, you did. Because you're precious, aren't you? Let's see if I can open the rest of this package without feline assistance. Uh-huh. Go on. Go see your daddy. Go on. The struggle is real. If you have a cat, you know. But yes, organza bag. And a sweet Brox Mint candy. Okay, oh, that's right. I remember. I kind of went with most of a theme this time. This one is the only one not really in sort of a theme. You see what I mean about using them for earrings? They're even on an earring card. Little hearts with little purple beads. And this is like a bright pinky purple magenta heart. They're both on lever backs, so yes. I'm not sure what I'll use these as progress keepers on to find a project worthy of them. Then these... Do they match my hat? Yes, they do. These will be, probably be earrings because they do match my hat. Little pretty wild cat head going on. And they're not heavy. They look like they're really thick and heavy. They're not that heavy. But, yes. And finally, last but not least. Gotta open the package. These are so stinking adorable. Gotta have the kitties. Yep. And on the back, they're like a gold tone color, but on the front, they're that black enamel. And I just think those are really cute. Could be earrings, could be progress keepers. We'll just see where my mind takes me on that. Um, but yes, that is Happy Mail today. And yes, it is happy. I love getting stuff in the mail. It's, it's so cute. A matter of fact, I had a FedEx delivery yesterday my hobby yarn finally showed and I have not opened it yet. Y'all would be so proud of me, okay? It is sitting in a bag in my bedroom, staring at me. But I'll open it and have a happy mail video probably tomorrow. Not a happy mail, but an opening because I've never had hobby yarn before. So yes, there is that. Thank you for coming by and enjoying my happiness with the happy mail. And um, I will hopefully see you very, very soon. If you're not subscribed already, please, would you consider doing so? Just hit that button. And also, uh, make sure you turn on the notifications because YouTube is weird about not showing stuff to people when they're supposed to, just so you know when I do happen to put out a little video. Thank you so much, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.